Hi guys, this is Aaron from Wine Cult, and welcome back to another Bottle Breakdown. So today we're talking about the Yarden 2020 Syrah, but first make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. So this is 100% Syrah from the Golan Heights. Uh, and now it's not often that we get to feature wine coming from Israel. So uh, I'm very excited about this one. Uh, Yarden is actually the premier label or the flagship brand of Golan Heights Winery. And each year, the finest grapes from the best vineyards are ultimately reserved for Yarden wines. Uh, Yarden is actually Hebrew for the Jordan River, which bisects the Golan Heights from Galilee. Uh, and the label features a symbol uh, of ancient Israel, an oil lamp decorated with a mosaic tile. After planting vineyards in the Golan Heights in 1976, the Golan Heights winery was ultimately established in 83 by four kibbutzim, or uh, ultimately collective communities, and four moshavim, uh, cooperative communities. In 1984, the winery released its first wines, which were, at the time, it's, it's weird to say this now because it's before my birth, but um, fairly widely hailed it as you know some early early israeli winemaking so golan heights winery cultivates over 1500 acres of vines across 28 different vineyards which are themselves divided into about 430 vineyard blocks uh, these are each harvested individually fermented separately all to show you know both extreme care but also uh, what those specific blocks have to offer in and of themselves and then they're each made into a wine or blended together by Victor Schoenfeld, head winemaker since 1992. In case it wasn't obvious, the Colon Heights Winery is an Israeli winery located in the Israeli settlement of Katsreen in the occupied Golan Heights. Uh, it's Israel's third largest winery. And in 2012, uh, it was ultimately awarded New World Winery of the Year by wine enthusiasts. So that's pretty cool. Making wine in the Golan Heights obviously comes with some unique challenges, uh, but that hasn't stopped their team from capitalizing on a very interesting Mediterranean microclimate. The proximity of the Mediterranean is obvious and immediate when you're drinking the wine. Uh, you might draw some similarities then to warm weather Syrah found in California, of course, with slightly more salinity present. This is a really dark purple wine. Uh, the Yarden Syrah shows off a, a fairly complex array uh, of characteristics like ripe cherries, wild blueberries, a little blackberry. Uh, it's layered in there with notes of earth, chocolate, even hints of anise. Um, on the background, I also get a, the faint presence of oak, which is obviously coming from uh, the wine production itself. This is also a very full-bodied wine. It's, it's a lot of concentrated flavor, right? So, uh, it's a fruity Syrah, and it can really stand up to a steak, roast pork. I would even consider pairing it with something maybe slightly more exotic, like Coco Bomb. For more bottle breakdowns and other great wine content, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Aaron from Wine Cult, and I'll see you next time.